Oya mani homu pepe ni zakwa. Eno tisi wame pemu hania ne wose eno ni chemo. Yepese yadi yadi J au mwahua yadi usebo ebo apostle Michael Akwa apostle ma muslo biyo mumu mzima apostle. I'm going to know what you are. Sa, sa, sa. You are a pastor. I did not talk about it. I'm also a pastor. I was a supporter. Get up and do it. I don't see a software who could have fallen. But I was a gentleman in prayer. And I just said, I'm going to go to the church. So I pray, the best of my life. Elder Collins. Elder Oha, I'm here. Elder Collins. Elder Collins. I bring the dog cano, so the money can cano. Any team for the team for our man in the cano, he be your monso actor. But who ladies, if you say our monso, our man go to ha, ah, actor, you better not run around so many times. Don't fall down. And our one aroma, it's been quite a massive. Don't go to move to move to move to quantum friend. Don't go to move. The people who are not one day, the people who are to go to friend. Oh, baby, ah, oh, baby, ah, oh, baby, ah, oh. Oh, no, the friend who is the guy, as soon as you make the effort, yes. What aroma? Face it, I'm in San Diego. Yeda wasio yenyango pon. Yeda wasio da. Yeda wasio wa yebia mai. Yeda wa. Ah, 
It means sir, it was as you see, we have every possible means, sir. As you see, you're making the right decision, sir. You refer Jesus Christ to say, you cry me, you are not. Many of you are not any other for you, you are not. You can't say, one day, I'm going to make it, 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 young girl, you say, Papa. You are not so pretty, sir. Hey, you are not. Or the party room, and you see now. How does it go? And now, I'm to you said, you and send me to my cream with some material. We've been called now. i Set
the catch on your chip, just say, who would have? Can you who would have? to bring them. You can see the kind of money and go back as you see it. People who are going to say, who would have? I said, at the home, or you pack. And do your software, we are you pack. We are Sikania, we are you pack. Who calls school, we are you pack. Who calls school, we are you pack. And you want to be. Amen. 
and now for Papa and Radio Pato and Nam Yusu Casachel, Nanasia, or Tinawan Tia Manamo, or Tramo Rabbi. I think you are to be a dinner here, or two and a winter. Oh, money, you put your penny in our animal dear. You are treating our own son, Amo, or money, Miss Richard, or money, the worst of me. They were Jesus, Timo. I want you for your love in a young car, I make us here. You shall be nigh, and I must have I was sick, I was sick. I was sick, I was sick. Yeah.
Bible was the firstborn of his parents and was baptized into the Roman Catholic Church at Paul Pitigu. He began his formal education at the Pitigu Roman Catholic Primary School. Due to his intelligence and hard work, his parents took him to Obome where he continued schooling. At Obome, he stayed with his grandmother opening Yakran at the age of 18 years. He was sent to Accra to learn a trade. Unfortunately, while in Accra, his mother passed away and he had to return to Pitigu to help his father with farming activities to support the rest of the siblings. In 1958, when Obaniya was 20 years, he got married to his lovely wife, the late Obapani Efua Pukia, who came from Kwao Bukrua in 1964, when the Akusumo Dam was built and the Pitigu town was submerged. His father asked him to go to a front place and his wife and three children to begin a new life. He then settled at a front place in a village called Onyamibenshoi. Ejato was very entrepreneur and ventured into cocoa farming immediately. A few years later, he moved with the family to another village called Fori Fori, where he continued with his farm. He expanded his farming business to produce crops such as yam, maize, tobacco, cotton, etc. At the time, Opini Yamandu was one of the richest farmers in the town who was known for his hard work and great personality. Not only was he an entrepreneur, but he was also a great host and welcomed everyone with a great smile. He was selfless and phenomenal. He lived in food for the to 1986. When he moved to Accra, he stayed in Accra and married Mother Rosina Yasewa in 1994. As Eja grew older, his health began to deteriorate, and despite his brilliant health, he kept his faith in God and was convinced that the Almighty God would heal him from his illness. But God had other plans for him. He passed away in the early hours of Saturday, 25th of June 2022, at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Opaniya had left behind 10 children, 37 grandchildren, and 26 great grandchildren. Ejato, you have fought a good fight here on earth. We take consolation in the fact that you are resting peacefully in the bosom of your maker. So we will meet again. Opening Ato. Nana no man diana akshia brabi na kumpasechi. Nana no man udi jaba ye ye shia wa kaya ni diyo. Mona nana kwa dumasi asa chunubu wa kwa dumasi jenti. Wano na wali ohuwa kuche na pakaye. Umni kitima ye chunyanwe eni ye friend osa mapo. Uboya kwa duwa sari wano oti ni fa eti pera kwae. Who do you want to say? If you are 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, tutored by ground children. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34, verse 18. God saw that you were tired and whispered, Come to me. A golden heart stopped beating, and our grandpa was gone. You were very special to us, grandpa. You radiated love all around you, and it was evident in your deeds. You were a man of few words and purpose. You never spared any opportunity to throw in advice, to throw in some advice on how we should live our lives so we become responsible adults. You taught us to always have a clear purpose when visiting anyone so that we do not end up gossiping instead of being productive. Yes, Grandpa could go on an hour journey to visit someone just for five minutes. After his purpose for the visit was achieved, he would be on his way back. We always made fun of this habit of yours, even though we learned great lessons from it. Even in your old age, you would always go with us to the farm any time we came to the village. Not long ago, you invited all of us to the village and taught us how to plant yams. It was quite a tiring experience for most of us who had never been to the farm, but we saw in it your intention to instill important values in us and deeply appreciated it. You were smart and memorized all our names. It is not everyone who was blessed to have a grandparent who could memorize their car numbers and phone numbers. But you did that effortlessly. This was very encouraging because if you had a grandpa who could memorize a phone number, you had no business feeling at school. We consider ourselves lucky to have come from your nine age, with you. Even in your illness, you still found a way to make us smile. You were always ready to have fun with your grandchildren. We will try to get you to pronounce a big English word and you will not hesitate to pronounce you will not hesitate to try pronouncing it just so we have a good laugh. We were always planning the next prank to play on you and you played along perfectly. We are grateful to God to have had an opportunity to be with and share in your life. We you have left a big hole in our hearts with your demise. And we are going to miss you, Grandpa. Although we wish there was nothing like this, what can we say? God knows best. We can only take consolation in the fact that heaven gained another angel. We hold a conviction that the love, calmness, kindness, and selflessness you show to mankind will be appreciated in heaven. Rest well, we job. To meet, to meet again, Damrifa G. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving us a very wonderful tribute, very sad, very sorrowful us tonight. We are saying bye bye, goodbye to our dear father, our grandfather, our brother, Yao, and all. Sebri, the best na DJ, what DJ, Mamo Tata, my na Indian Sudia, Suya Papa, what he, Yao, do, and Niti, and we say, Adolfo, Niti, Niti, for. Nina, a bit of a ha, say, we a tributa, a kinda, as if a panel of a bog, a papa. In several years, I don't fall in each year, 
Yeah. 